and welcome to my channel. <laughs> Alice has come to see us today. <laughs> Out the way, you dopey cat. Right, <laughs> what do we have today? Should we do stitching? We like stitching, don't we? I've been busy, as I would. I just saw some flowers. I saw a pincushion. Yeah, I know I've got lots of pincushions. So, why not have another one? And I made this one. <laughs> Can you see these? It's a, for me, it's a donut cushion. A donut pin cushion. There you go. It was just from the centre. Do some flowers. Stick. Pad it, obviously. Do it a bottom. So around the bottom. I've joined there. Just through so that it makes it a bit more shaped. And I'll just stuck some pins in it. So that's my flower donut pincushion. I quite like. That can go in the collection. And then you remember all the books I've been doing, the sewing books. Yes. She's done another one. Oh goodness, she's done another one. Should we have a look and see? Now this one had a piece. I didn't know what to do with, and then I said, oh, it's definitely a journal with cover. So, there's the cover. There's the Made by Linda. It's on, again, the padded backing. That's how it comes out, yeah. I'll come back for a minute. There we go, we can see the whole bit. So, it's on the padded backing. And you know I did the big, like, mandala thing. <clears throat> She went a bit mad this time and did lots of. Bring them in closer for you so you can see the stitching. Can you see all the stitches? All different ones. With a bit of couching around the outside. Still got some embellishments on there. But in the main, it was stitching in the rounds. And I just find it so calming like calm I can just sit there and stitch not bother anybody I'm just stitching away to my heart's content so that was that one so then I thought okay that's probably enough Mandela-ish ones I'll do something else you know the kit that I would I'd put together to do my different ones on well, what happened there was I got some more thread, so I needed a bigger box. So I upgraded the box for the threads and the little needle case and the colours. The trouble is there is actually a, a delivery <laughs> coming off. Twelve more of these, but they're the variegated colour. You know when you get them all different colours in one book? Got some other, so I tend to think that box is not going to be big enough. Never fear, we have boxes everywhere. Got little scissors still, my little clippy things. And I've been using a hoop a bit. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Different size hoops. So, what was I getting up to here? Well, once upon a time, quite a while ago. I grew up on a, probably an A3 at least, it was a mandala or a circle and it had flowers in it and it was just in black and white, took a photo of it, put it on the machine, you forget about it don't you? Then when you're looking through and you think oh I've got some, some cloth that I can print on off of the telly. So off the computer. This is what's coming from it. It's got the flowers again, so it's a bigger version, I suppose, of the little pink cushion, isn't it? This one's all roses, and I'm undecided on what to do. Now I know that the I could probably do it in pencil, coloured pencil, watercolour pencil, or perhaps Faber Castle pencil. 
I just wanted it a bit different. I was just going to do it like in black thread. So you've got like a, a black and a colour. But then I thought, well, they're not, not the same flowers. So I don't, don't know that that would work. So I'm going to try and do pencil or crayon. It's a work in progress, that one, definitely. But I'm pleased with how far he's got. I like that. So after that, I still had some more material that I could print on. And I thought, oh, <laughs> why not print another one out? This is one of mine from my, I, I made up a Mandela colouring book, adult colouring book on Amazon, I think it is, not sure. Anyway, so I've got a lot of these pictures. So I printed that one off and I've started to stitch him. You can see on the back all I've done. It's just like the roundy bits at the moment. Now I'm not sure whether to stitch it completely or again use the pens. I tend to think I want to use the pens on the bigger flowers because I wouldn't know what stitch to put on them. So I might just colour those in. And he's got a bit of a top on him so that could be stitched. Work in progress. <laughs> Always work in progress in this house. And then, blow me down. I'm looking through Pinterest today and I think, oh, I like that. I'll show you what I found. Yes, I printed it off. <laughs> Look at that one. One has to do it. Don't you agree? One has to do it. You see, it's got, you start off, it's not, it's like a, um, a snail shell isn't it goes round and round they're not set on circles like the other they're not like those circle 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 this one's all joined and it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger so yes i've made a start i've got my piece of material and i have sketched on it you're not going to see this i don't think a lot because i can't but i've sketched on it where I'm going to stitch. So I've got my snail shell <laughs> ready to stitch. What am I doing it in? I'm going to do the lines in this one. I know it's one of my embroidery threads and I use three out of the six and it'll be a back stitch because if you see on that one it's a, it's a looks like a back stitch doesn't it? So it's just completely one line. So I've got plenty of that to do my lines and then I can do flowers on it and I can use the flowers I did off of there see these I can use the flowers I've done in there so many but obviously I can try and copy some of those <laughs> see how we get on with that so that's all my sewing -y bits for this time on the go on the go just about to start so that will go in the kit box kit box new bit of material thread for that picture to get the hang of it and that's probably it for the box I don't know no, I wouldn't use a, a hoop yet. I'd probably just do the, because if I'm doing the actual outside, okay, ready to go. If I'm doing the outside, I'd have to keep moving the hoop. So while I'm doing the spiral, that'll be done just free, free work. Yes, I'll bring you it when we get a bit further with that. So that's our sewing stitch video for today. Our slow stitch, our embroidery, Oh, I'll make it up as you go, our pin cushion. You name it, we got one. <coughs> do give us a thumbs up, do subscribe. You never know what's coming next to you. <laughs> Keep you guessing. <laughs> I'll just say, stay safe, take care. Bye bye for now.